damn good start for DC. The, as we saw before that, able to take down that mid lane courier and Misery went right to work on being a real pain in the ass for this Chen. So he's doing his ogre job in top lane. They might Ooh. be able to get some first blood action here. They get the disruption for Ohio. He is desperate and trying to fly away, but he can't make it out. He's going to be going down in resolution. He's going to be picking up the first blood of our first match of day three. Uh, this August Loa has, you know, like I can lay it out for Ohio, but that actually seems to oh, be the he, end. Of he it went here. for an early flame yeah, break. Okay, misery shows up again. This time they have DJ nearby, but is that going to be enough to fend off the power of DC? I don't think so. Resolution's moving in. He's got the ice arrows, and boom, he gets the last hit. And that's going to secure the second kill now for DC. Looking to really pump up the jams here in the top lane. It looks like they will all end up losing Saxa though. Oh, self disruption could hold it out for a bit. But they got the tomato creep scratch him on the back. He's going to be going down. But vengeance for DC here as they move in to get DJ. They will beat that one as well. Misery picks up another kill. His ogre. Lots of mileage here in the early game. Yeah, especially in all these early exchanges. Ogre is like very, very difficult to contest because of the armor. Good heads up there from Ohio. We'll avoid the trouble. And he's doing a good job pulling the creep away from the tower, stopping DC Oh, we have a gank damage. coming in top lane. You're talking about the Luna Loop, getting in the, the action. It's suddenly a wild Mushi coming in from behind. They do coax DC into coming into the tower and trying to make a gank happen. They might be able to get Ohio. They will, but will they make it out with their lives? There goes the Omni Slash oh. from Mushi, and they're going to be able to spin down Little Lady Drow. It turns into a one-for-one -one trade, but a good response play from Fnatic. Do you think that was worth the rotation power and uh, uh, getting everyone in? It was in? okay, because they got the... <laughs> Okay, Resolution. so right now, oh, double DC, band of DC, after the two ultimates being expanded by Fnatic, right back towards the towers, realizing cooldowns are down, so it's time to take a advantage of that. We are going to run into the Chen. Oh my Ooh, goodness, that heal, burst. That, that burned right there. They bursted him down. That's a very, very good trap set down by Fnatic right there on the high ground. So DC are going to be successful. I think deep wards is easier if you're sort of controlling the game, but when you're not controlling the game, it's difficult. Mu there, getting spot out. It looks like there'll be a lasso pull. Mu's trying to find a way to leap to the low ground. We'll Should make it away. Oh, no mana. Ohio is okay, in there, but there. yeah. One little star storm is not okay, going to get stop his blink. The he's going to get his blink. Yep, for sure. Uh oh. Meanwhile, epi on the bottom hand, Gust, disruption. There's the Epi. And it is going to get the finish on for Chen. 3 4 3. Almost oh, going to be going down. Geez. He does get the grave off, barely lives. They turn back it around, and, well, they're going to be losing more, it looks like. Omni Slash to fly on out. Resolution moves forward to get a double kill, but now he's in a bit of trouble. There's a nice force that gets him away to safety, but not far enough from the Blade Fury. We'll be able to slash down that Aegis. He's now they look dead. for the turnaround play. Misery's going to be there with the stun. There's going to be the Burrow Strike stun, and he just is going to be kited from between three to four heroes right there. Socks up very low, is able to etch away from trouble, and Ohio could be going down. He just got that Blink Dagger, and it looks like he might be able to fly his way. No, 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 he will not. He's Man, dead. He's gone now. Excellent kiting there by the Sand King positioning. Yeah. Every time he barrel strikes, Man, he hides. He was for his next barrel strike. Yeah, that's how you want to play Sand King. It's very hard to Very important for them to know his position. Yeah. So that was very, very good play from Batrider right there. And Fnatic had been hanging around this bottom lane to wait for something to open up, but it's actually DC who eventually roll on Ooh. forward here with the did, smoke. Did they not see the Chen? But uh, <laughs> yeah, they stun the bird, not the Chen. So the Chen's able to kind of weasel his way out, but they are going to be able to get the grab on the Dazzle, and Chen not going to be able to make it away. They get him with the disruption, and this means your support I mean, team. I guess that was down. all part of the plan. You kill the creeps first. Yeah, more money. Yeah, that was funny. So draw right now with the Maelstrom follow up. We'll allow it, uh, into a yeah, defusal. Uh oh. It looks Oop, like they've caught up, a misery. Bring up the cliff. Yeah. Get up on that pedestal there. Ohio will eat the stun Ooh. from two different targets. There's a multicast. There's a gust. He's eating a, a lot of damage here between three. 3-4-3 three, three steps in, gets off the casual grave, tries to TP away, but it gets canceled. Both TPs are going to get canceled. Ohio goes down. That was an attempt from Fnatic to try to get what? a pickoff play, an easy one on misery, but it they is never easy. They were trying to kill an ogre with no vision, with only two heroes. Pretty much mostly present, Ooh. with the exception of the Jug, who's still farming the Ancient, so not even Fnatic, that, all in attendance here. That was interesting. He had no lasso there. Yeah, he went in, but he, yeah, he did not have the lasso yet. Still needed four seconds. Mushi says, I'm ready to game and fight. Moves on in with the Eclipse. Looking to burst down. Does get that first life of resolution. Looks for the follow-up to take down Sox, but he's not going to be able to get it. There is going to be a Lucid Beam, and they should be able to bring him down. That's the first notch. Two notches all together coming the way of Fnatic. 
but 343 is going to sidestep, avoid resolution, but mid one hits with the burrow. He's a little late to this party, but he tries to make his presence. There's going to be the Omni Slash. They are going to get the Slash down and the takedown of resolution. The lasso is finally here, and it's the pullback for Wii. It's Fnatic really opening things up now as they take down four. A double kill finishing things off for mid one. Yeah. Game even as far as kills, that, but Fnatic got their fight. timing. MVP Mushi with the Eclipse. It felt like, you know, that wasn't the fight that Fnatic intended on taking. I mean, with Jug where he was out of position, it just kind of. With you the way the bat initiated, it was kind of like, it just kind of fell into place for I Fnatic right they, there. They sort of like, oh crap, I actually don't have that. So he blinked in and it was like five seconds. Yeah. Oh, cool down. <laughs> it was a bit of a hot mess, but it definitely worked out for Fnatic. But not at this point. It looks like Ohio will be taking down the mid lane. And Mushi now could be under the gun here. Misery, they surround him. Glaives, though, flying all over the freaking place here for Mushi. Makes things uh, pretty damn difficult for your support staff. Then mid one's going to be able to come in, oh, just slash it down Mitska. And they're going to be sli uh, slowing down Misery. They spin, Ooh. and they'll get him. Okay, Fnatic really opening things up and now. Last, last two minutes of the game has been very, very impressive by Fnatic. Their decision making, their execution. Apart from the bat blinking in without that. I thought he was holding some stuff in his stash, but no, it looks like well, he's just do they have sentries? getting a Yule's. Where's the sentry? Uh, oh. oh, they have a dust. DJ pops it. Weave goes out. Looks like we already have a target for Ohio. He gets the pullback, grabs Mu. Mu's going to be able to leap away, and the epicenter is going to be the trade as Weeha does commit in. But meanwhile, mid going to be able to get the Blade Fury and does finish off Mu, who's going to be the first corpse of this game. And now it's going to be Misery going down as the follow-up to this fight. Mid-1 getting hit. Resolution begins to unload. The Grave's going to be there, and he realizes he has to get the hell out with the positioning he's in. Meanwhile, we see on the right-hand side, your Shadow Demon going to get blasted Ooh. by Mushi. Flame Break cancel, and it's going to be another huge fight for Fnatic as they take down four. They move in the Rose Pit like, let's do it, but oh, they Man, realize that the timing's not there. That, <laughs> that dust on the chain was like, did you see anything? There's no wards. There's like no sentries on the fishy. ground, right? <laughs> Back ban for sure. He just dusted. There was no sentries on the ground. He's like, something smells. Dust. Oh, All of a sudden, oh, a wild a, DC a, team appears. I see Winner, please. <laughs> DC smoked, moving in, looking to kind of get the reapproach. And this time, they will be able to spot out DJ. No crazy you know, dust pops for you. But they got the Graves to keep him alive. In the meantime, Ohio is going to get the lasso pull back on the Wii. They're going to be able to blow him up with the help of the Eclipse. He goes down. They take down two, including Misery here. Sox are trying to desperately make it away in the back of a TP, but they cancel it with the Luna Beam. And, well, that means it's going to be three. Can they get more? Mu will be able to blink away to safety. Goes for the TP. <gasps> Flame Break was almost there, but... Close enough. Close nice enough. Try. That nice was try. a nice try. Nice try. Good effort. Good effort, Dakota. Good, good effort. Leave dishes out of Starstorm to hope to slow things down from the Fnatic push, but it's not enough to stop him. Those glaives are flying out in full force. Look at him go. <laughs> flies right through the base. One Rax goes down. Arrow flies. Mu jumps in. Connection from DJ, but he's the one that's going to get shot. Uh, Big Lucent Beam. Nice connection there from Fnatic. They're going to potentially be on their way to victory land here. But they will be muscled out from the base. They get the burst. DJ goes down. DC saying, you're not going to take our racks and get away alive. Mid one, though. Nice force. Puts him into his safety. Gets the Manta off, and he is a running away, but he gets connected with one little ice arrow. Blade Fury is going to be the follow-up. Ohio says, I'll take the action. He goes down. Mid one. And you do this, He's all these random cuddle sound impressions. Boy, I'm trying to make it more interesting. <laughs> Fine, and you know what? Fine. And you see the Here goes mid one. He's <laughs> running into the jungle. He has made it out. Oh, no. He goes back in. And that's in the end of it. Oh no! He ate a burrow. Fights. Okay, Sandstorm. I get your point. I'm sorry, dude. I get your point. Blade Fury. Blink. Weeha says no. It's not that easy. These guys are just not going to let each other make it away. Oh, finally, outside interferences. 343 shows up and he helps finish things off. Mid one gets the last laugh. What a long pursuit. I think DC might know that they're in a bit of trouble here. Well, but they could get a follow-up kill here as Midwan's trying to creep his way out, but they're not going to be able to stop him. Fnatic, go oh, able to fend off. Mushi says, what was that? Was that an epi? No, sir. Nothing at all. Pops the BKB, runs on in with the Eclipse, and DC are soon to be decimated here. Misery goes down. Resolution very low. He gets dropped, and Saxa at the same moment also going to be going down. Mushi on a tear. Mushi with a double.